Uh, welcome to week four of the speed block. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a deload this week. Um, we're going to start off like we don't normally do every other Monday of this block with the sled sprints doing 20, 30, 40, 20, 30, 40. We're going to drop the weights down slightly. So rather than being at 40 kilos for the 20 meter sprint, I'm going to be at 35. Then we'll be at 25 for the 30 and then we'll be at 15 for the 40 meter sprint there. So that's going to be for today's focus. And this afternoon in the weight room really is just kind of a maintenance week. Light weights, moving fast, feeling good, just kind of get through a little bit more time spent on recovery. So I'll be hitting up the sauna a little bit more this week. Um, doing a little bit more stretching, a little bit more mobility focused type stuff. And then we're going to be getting prepped for the next block starting next week. So that's the outline of what we got going on today. I'm going to warm up, then we're going to hit the sleds. All right, so warm up specifically, I like to start off with those skips going back and forth. It's a good way to kind of focus on lower limb. So ankles, calves, work on kind of warming that up a little bit. Get the Achilles kind of loose, things are feeling good. Then from there, I like to focus on my A series. So I'm going to go through an A march, A skip, A switch, and an A triple switch. So for the A march, what I'm specifically looking for is whatever foot is on the ground, I want to feel tall through that foot. So if my right leg is on the ground and my left leg is up, I want to feel that I'm extended through that right leg all the way up through my head and then my opposite leg is coming up to this point where it's knee up and toe up. You don't want that toe pointed down. I want to focus on using that shin, pulling that toe up and being strong in that position. So as the march happens, what you're looking for is this position here and then you're just going to be walking through and repeating. All right, so after the A march, I move to an A skip. Same focus, knee up, toe up, being tall. We're just adding more of a dynamic level to it. So we're putting that bounce into it, starting to skip a little bit, get a little bit more reactive off the ground. The focus for every A drill is foot contact on the ground needs to be that mid to four foot range. You don't want to be on your toe and you don't want to feel that your heel is slamming into the ground. You, you want to be in like that mid foot range. So like ball of the foot, maybe slightly behind the ball of the foot. Feel that that front half of the foot is on contact. That heel should be slightly floating and then that's going to give you the best position to push off the hardest. So A skip next and then we're going to follow that up with an A switch. Okay, next up is an A switch. The difference between an A skip and an A switch is a skip, at least the way that I do it, there's gonna be a point in time where both feet hit the ground and then you skip up with the opposite leg, both feet hit the ground, skip up with the opposite leg. In an A switch, at no point in time should both feet touch the ground. So when you're up in this position here, first thing you're thinking about doing is just switching positions. So, Top knee drives down, bottom knee drives up, and you switch that position, and then you're gonna hold it for a second. Switch, switch, switch. That's why it's called an A switch. So, two sets, 20 meters of this, and then we're gonna go to a triple switch. Since today's an acceleration focus day, this is where I like to start adding in some acceleration bursts. So what I'm trying to do is for my first three steps, just hit the proper angles, go hard for three steps and then I kind of coast out of it. As I get closer to like the last two to three drills that I'm doing, I'll extend that out to a five step burst. And then after that, I'll spike up and hit my first sled sprint. So three step burst is up next. Then we're gonna follow that up with an A triple switch. And it's exactly what it is. You switch three times before you pause. So just like the A switch, no time should two feet be on the ground. You're gonna be going switch, 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 pause, switch, switch, switch pause. So we'll repeat that for two sets, 20 meters. So next up, we'll do another three-step burst. After that three-step burst, we're going to go into an A run. So finally, we're going to pick up that pace for the A series, try to mimic that high knee, high toe, and then make it more cyclical into like a running pattern as we do that. So again, two sets, 20 meters. All 
All right, and then finally, the last two things I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna do a couple five-step bursts, but I'm gonna carry that momentum through 30 meters. So five hard steps, and then just kind of coast through 30, repeat that for two times, then we're gonna hit the sled. So today's sled workout is gonna be 20 meters with 30 kilos, 30 meters with 20 kilos, and then 40 meters with 10. We're gonna rest four minutes after that and then repeat. I know I said I was gonna do 35, 25, 15, but I thought I had a five kilo plate, but I only got three tens. So we're gonna go 30, 20, 10 for that. In between each sprint, we're gonna rest between two to three minutes, depending on how I feel. And then after the 40, we'll rest four minutes before we repeat on our second set back on that 20. All right, first set done, felt good, except for I messed up the 30 meter, lost track of where I was at and I stopped about five meters short. So this time I'll make sure to run all the way through. What I try to do is push myself hard until I see that cone pass me and then I'll kind of let up. So I'm trying to run it all the way through the cone, maybe even a meter or two past it. So for some reason I saw the flash of the 20 and then in my mind I thought that was a 30 so I kind of eased up and as soon as I picked my head up I saw the 30 meter cone right in front of me so messed it up but we'll fix it on the next set. Uh, I'm going to take a four minute rest and then I'm going to set up the 30 kilos back onto the sled. We're going to start off with the 20 meters again. All right, that's it for this morning session. Feeling really good. Feel better than I normally do entering a deload, which is, which is awesome. So looking forward to carrying that through. Um, next up, I've got a weight room session. It's gonna be really light, really fast. Um, not a lot of time in the weight room today. Uh, I get this question a lot because I go in the video, obviously I go straight from the track and then you guys see me next up into the weight room. There's usually about a four hour gap in between that. So it's 10 o'clock right now. I won't actually go into the weight room and start training until about 1.30, maybe two o'clock. So the three and a half to four hour gap in between that. And what I do bef between then is I usually have one to two meals. I coach a class from 12 to one at my gym. And then I kind of do a little bit of extra work with programming and stuff in between there as well. And then I'll start training around 1.30, maybe two o'clock. And then today's session is probably gonna last about an hour, at most an hour and a half, where my normal Monday weight room sessions last about two hours. So cutting it down a little bit, less volume because of the deload week. But next up, we're gonna be doing some med ball throws. We're gonna be doing some cleans, some front squats, and a little bit of accessory stuff, and that will be it for today. So next up for you guys is gonna be the weight room.
So in the gym now, decided I wanted to do that med ball series for a warm up for my weightlifting session today. Normally, I would do it after the sled sprints, but because I have such low volume in the weight room today, I decided to add that at the beginning part as kind of an additional warm up piece. All I have today is basically cleans, front squats, and then that's gonna be it for today. So the focus is gonna be perfect repetitions, quality movements in and out of the gym. So we have five sets of one on power cleans. We're gonna be at 135 kilos. Then we're gonna be at three sets of five, again at 135 kilos for front squats, and then I'm just gonna finish off with a little bit of ab work, and then that's gonna be it for today. So overall, super low volume. I'm gonna warm up a little bit with the barbell, and then we're gonna start getting after these cleans. So that's it for today. Just like I said, it was gonna be nice, easy, and short. Took about 45 minutes to knock everything out. So med ball work, some jumping, power cleans, front squats, that was it. So easy, easy deload week for me this week. Um, other than that, tomorrow we're gonna be back at it, just one session, upper body focused. I'll be throwing in more recovery type work throughout the week since my overall training volume is gonna be a lot lower. Um, maybe a couple more sauna sessions, things like that. But appreciate you guys watching the videos. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. And other than that, we'll see you guys tomorrow.